Hello again, I'm Freddy Muller on YouTube and this is the second part of how to create a low poly car without any references and this is what we got to in the last tutorial so now we're going to create the cockpit of the car and we'll do that by extruding the parts that we want to have as the, the roof of the car itself but before we do that we're going to smooth the corners out here on the front so that the the basic shape of, of the front of the car and the back will look rounded and so yeah let me just do that so I'm going to remove this backwards a little bit like so and the same with this part here and move this back a little um, we're only going to model one side because we can use the symmetry modifier afterwards. So now I'm going to select the parts that I want to extrude. And then we're going to extrude them. And we're going to shrink them down. Like so. I'm going to put those further down. And yeah. Basically I want to around the the top of the car as well so it looks a little bit smoother and I'm going to move those up a bit as well like so so now you can see that the front of the car is more or less square or flat and I want those to be a little bit have a little bit more of a round shape to them so I'm going to move those up a bit and inwards and like so yeah I'll probably move those a little bit to the side as well then I'm going to select the ring around the cockpit itself and then I'm going to connect them and I'm going to connect it with only one and then we can expand that a bit like so <coughs> but yeah, this doesn't look that good, but we'll get back to that. So, first of all, I'm going to move these parts down a little bit. And the roof as well. Oops. So, there you go. And then I'm going to apply the symmetry modifier. And I'm going to flip that and I'm going to move the mirroring face of it a little bit to the side like so there you go then I'm going to apply the modifier and I'm actually going to collapse it and remove one half of the car and reapply the modifier flip it and move it like so so now we have the the cockpit as, cockpit as well and then I'm going to move the vertices back a little bit just to smooth out the front of the car more So yeah, there you go. Move this back a bit. And this part here to the back. Round those off. Move this down a little bit. So, yeah, and then I need to create the the hole here for the wheels as well. Uh, I do that by doing the same that, that I did on the front. Remove it, select the edge. Shift click and drag. Okay, then I'm going to weld it. Target weld. 
And then I'm going to cap it and cap. And then you can move the different parts inward or to their position so that the shape is better. Like so. So th this more or less resembles a car. <laughs> I know this isn't a very beautiful car, but it's a car nonetheless. And you can add the wheels, and I'm just going to do that very quickly. Cylinder, auto grid. And what auto grid allows me to do is actually align it perpendicular to any face that I have selected. And the same thing goes for the back here. Then I'm going to select this and readjust the height. There you go. And if you take the main object and attach the wheels, it will collapse into one single object. And there you go, you have your car. So this is a low poly car. In the next tutorial I want to show you how to create a high poly car and to do that <coughs> we're going to use a modifier called TubeSmooth and the TubeSmooth modifier actually allows us to smooth out the results so when I apply it you can see that the cars become smoother and the wheels actually get some weird shadows due to the way the TubeSmooth works but we can actually sharpen or or resharpen the corners, like for instance on the um, cockpit part of the car. We can actually apply a extra um, ring to it or connect it, then slide it towards the end here. And as you can see, it gets a much harder edge than it had before and we can actually reapply one to make it even sharper so there you go so that becomes even sharper and if you don't like the hard corners that comes on it you can actually increase the iterations that will obviously also increase the poly count but as you can see it becomes a lot smoother so by moving vertices closer to each other you get harder edges by moving them away from each other you actually get smoother edges so you can see here that where the, the wheels are we actually get it smoothed but we can increase the polys that lines up to it and actually get a hard edge on that one so by moving this to 100 and these are in percent like so you can see that we get a much harder edge back here the same thing goes for the, the side to it but there are some problems with this as you can see on the top that where these get closer we ex actually get harder edges so what we need to do in the next tutorial we need to remove those to get those smoothed out and we need to apply the same technique at the back wheels and then we need to make room for lights and other stuff. So that's for the next tutorial. I uh, hope to see you soon. I'm Freddy Marlon on YouTube. Thanks for watching.